Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, this will be the last Wu Officer we do for a little while, and then we're going to do Xiao Xiao next. Shortly after conquering northern China, Zhao Cao discovered a bronze urn in the shape of a peacock that was mysteriously buried deep in the ground. Zhao Cao judged this to be a good omen, and built a shrine called Tong Chiao Tai in honor of the discovery. Shortly thereafter, Cao Cao began his campaign to take Zhangdong. One ambition that Cao Cao had for this campaign was to capture the beautiful Chiao sisters of Zhangdong and bring them to Ta Tong Chiao Tai as his concubines. As fate would have it, the younger Xiao Cao was easily captured and brought before the shrine. For Xiao Cao, there could never be anyone else but her true love, Zhou Yu. Thus being held prisoner in some bizarre shrine was completely unacceptable. She must find a way to escape back to Jung Dong. And since you're a hostage, of course I'm not going to allow you to have bodyguards or items with you. That would not make sense. Alright, so this map is like a little bit of Fawn Castle. And level 11 Fatal Grace is a level 17 Dragon Amulet, 14 Speed Scroll, 19 Elixir, and level 10 Re Herbal Remedy. So you get a nice bit of Muso power, you're fast, you refill it fast, and you got nice charge attacks. Okay, so for this objective, you just gotta defeat all the way officers, but really you're just focusing on defeating Cao Cao. And you had to defeat them more than once. Cao Cao always had a thing for like married or widowed women. That would explain why he's going after the two Chiaos. You are destined to belong to me. It's pretty funny how Da Xiao and Xiao Xiao both have level 11 weapon Blech. level 11 weapons with panda bear heads on their fans. Hold back for now. Now to get the level 11 weapon, you have to defeat Cao Cao four times, then defeat the other way officers, get somewhere between 100 or 150 KOs, as long as there's like 15 minutes left on the clock. And you should have it. Usually if you defeat the other way officers quickly, they'll come back again. But this is the best spot where you can train your offense for your officers, because every one of these way officers drop attack ups. In normal mode, it drop like level 4 swords. Maybe in hard mode, they drop level 8. And since they keep returning, they even bring their swords with them. So you can keep getting even more weapon ups. If you're training defense, this is not the place for you because they don't drop shields at all. I'm, I was not really a fan of Xiao Xiao's Muso because you have to aim it so well. Most people probably got the weapon just by using parrying nonstop. I was too careless. Good thing about Cao Cao is every time you defeat him, he does drop like a potion for you. So if you take it on a nice bit of, of beating, just defeat him and you get fully healed. Alright, Shu Zhu's the guy over there and Zhao Dun's over to the left. Yeah, that did a nice bit of damage, of course. Of course, that usually happens when you're very powerful, thanks to getting this weapon and playing on normal mode, of course. This time, I will capture you. What do you mean captured me? You already got me locked in here. So technically, I'm already captured. But I'm guessing just to subjugate me completely, I'm fighting my way out. Not you know, he can just easily find himself another woman. Wouldn't that be happy to be taken by him? All he's doing is just getting himself beat up. He wouldn't even be ready for Shirby. But that's just his choice. That's always been his weakness in life. It was that kind of lust that got him in trouble in one castle. Alright, Zhao you're going down. Alright, so I'll just head back on top, deal with South Cao again. Very determined, I must say. I had to battle him like four times already. To win, you had to defeat him five times. 
Good job, we're doing your goods. Oh, recover! Oh my god, even normal mode as soon as I get up, I'm attacked again. Taste my pandas, bitch! Drawing for the fourth time, eventually Zhao Yuan will show up. Alright, so maybe I should head back to the top. Actually, I think I should deal with Zhao Du next, since he returned. Alright, he's just heading on his way to see me. Good for him. He pretty much just does anything for Cao Cao, given they are relatives. My lord, I have brought Doc Chao to you. Of course, that caption is wrong. That's not Zhao Dun. It's Zhao Yuan. Well, oh, they're brothers, so the same thing. Well, not really. I would have preferred both. We will settle for Doc Chao alone. What are you doing? Alright, so let me deal with Zhao Yuan next, and then save Da Chiao. Zhao Chiao's uh, attack power is already maxed out, so I don't need these swords. Just over here, you don't have to yell. Two of you together present a marvelous sight indeed. Ew, what's with him? Creep! Alright, girl power activate! Defeat Cao Cao. He's gonna be stronger this time because it's the last time you fight him. Where the hell did he go? He's over here. I still hate Xiao Cao's move, so it's just so hard to aim. Six charge pretty much just like a glorified version of it. Ow, ow! More like Xiao Ow! Ow! Xiao! We almost got him. Just a little bit more. Oh, I got him. I uh, hacked at his ankles. My destiny has not. And there you go. That was a very just s simple mission. You're in a small area. You got forces from all sides to fight. Just as long as you're very strong, you should have no problems. Oh, no wonder I took a bit of a beating. Her defense is barely at three quarters. Oh, but then again, defense is usually the hardest to train compared to offense. Alright, so enjoy the ending. Daughter of Xiao Yichuan. Blank text. I mean, the younger of a pair of beautiful sisters known as the two Chiaos of Zhang Dong. During Su Tzu's conquest of Zhang Dong, she met Wu Officer Zhou Yu and became his wife. For Zhou Yu, who bore great responsibility as Wu's strategist, Xiao Chao played innocence as a great comfort, and her mere presence eased the tension he encountered every day. The happy, life's, happy couple's life would be torn asunder by Cao Cao's ambition. After conquering northern China, Cao Cao used his influence to kidnap Xiao Chao from Zhang Dong. Xiao Chao was incarcerated at Tang Xiao Tai. Cao Cao underestimated the power that lay within Xiao Chao and she began to mow down Wei officers with her fans in a bold escape effort. Xiao Chao rescued her sister Da Xiao, who had also been captured. The two Xiaos then proceeded to repel enemy after enemy until finally they escaped home to Jiang Dong. Waiting at the Wu border was none other than Zhou Yu, who was just about to embark on a rescue. When Xiao Chao told her husband of her daring escape, Zhou Yu praised her as his little warrior. Aww. Some men like powerful women. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video right here. In the next part, we'll play as Shoe Officer Guan Yu. See you, everybody. Thanks for watching.